635 now. Today we remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Events happening across the triad honor veterans who died in service. In Kernersville, the Carolina Field of Honor will host a Memorial Day event celebrating their 10th anniversary of the memorial. That's where we find WFY News 2's Taylor Leverett this morning. Good morning, Taylor. That's right. We are celebrating, honoring the men and women who, you know, gave the ultimate sacrifice for our country. I'm joined here with Scott Matthews. He's the chairman of the Carolina Field of Honor, as well as Corey Spore. We finally got Corey in there last yes. minute there. <laughs> yes, had a run over. Director of the Triad Network. So good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. So talk about 10 years. You know, that's a long time to, you know, put this on. And what did you think it would, did you ever think it would kind of be where it is today? No, I didn't. None of us imagined on the board of directors that, uh, and it went quickly. But we've been doing two a year for the last ten years: Veterans Day and Memorial Day, and uh, it's a lot to plan. It's a lot to put on. It's a little bit of a production, but uh, it's gone by quickly. And talk about why is it so important to keep days like this in honor. Absolutely. I mean, somewhere like this at the Carolina Field of Honor, it's a great opportunity for communities to come together. It's a good central location in the triad, but it's important because these men and women made the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, they raised the right hand, signed up to go into harm's way. Um, so a lot of these that are no longer with us made that ultimate sacrifice, physically not with us, but we're here to make sure their memory lives on and tell their story. And we were talking about how, you know, the Field of Honor serves so many communities. You know, it, talk about that. Well, in the Triad area, it's been here so with other veterans' uh, memorials, but we're the largest on the east coast of the United States uh, outside of Washington, D.C. So we're serving more than just the Triad. We'd like to think we're serving the state of North Carolina as well as the country because we've had people that we've known that have come from other parts of the, of the United States and go like, this is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this before. And uh, so we're very proud of that. And what can families expect when they come out here today for the Memorial Day service? Absolutely. What they can expect is, one, is a moving tribute to those that made the ultimate sacrifice. Scott and the War Memorial Foundation have been doing it amazingly for 10 years. But you can have uh, beautiful speeches. We're going to have military band. Uh, so overall, it's just going to be a very moving and awesome tribute to those that are no longer with us. Take a look at that information on your screen there. It's going to be here at the Carolina Field of Honor in Kernersville. It starts at 11 a.m. today. Again, thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you for thank your you. service thank as you. well, thank too. You. I'll send it back to you in the studio.